Crown Royal. Please drink responsibly. Well <laughs> done, man. Action. Is that part of your uh, pit crew practice? Yeah, I don't yeah. understand why you're a jack man. You could be a, a great PA. Uh, yeah, that's my future plan. <laughs> Welcome into the Rowdy Studios today. We are talking with part of Matt Kenseth's pit crew. How about that? And Before the pit crew challenge. Right. And then during. <laughs> uh, Actually, you guys have already started, right? Yeah. But we need to give some love before we get into that yeah. to uh, Crown Royal. For making right? it all happen. For making our butts comfortable. We appreciate that. And what was your line? Please sit responsibly. Absolutely. Very nice. Well, let's in why don't you guys introduce yourselves, because we'll probably get your names wrong anyway. I'm Cameron Cobb, the jack man for the Crown Royal team. Ryan McRae, carry rear tires. John Moore, rear changer for the Crown Royal. Please drink responsibly. Number 17-4. Hey, you guys are good at reinforcing the message. You got a little uh, little wrist strap there. Did you injure your wrist doing some uh, bowling? Uh, yeah, just, uh, just it's a little... It's a crutch. Uh, it's a crutch. I, I assume it was from the... A little pit stop injury. Right. Yeah. She's uh, she's all right, though. We taper up and keep... Now, you guys have already done the preliminary seating round, from what yeah. I understand. How did that go for you? Um, not too good. No? Uh, <laughs> no. A you got to get the bad one out of the way, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't bad, but... Um, you know, knock the rust off, uh, and then come back strong in the second round. Hopefully we'll get the 17 car up front again. Is, is the pit crew challenge a good approximation of, I mean, it's not obviously the same as a regular pit stop, but how does it? how is it different? How is it the same? Uh, it's it's a lot different than a regular pit stop. Um, for one, we're not all working together like we do on a pit right, stop. Right, you're at your individual stations. Yeah, individual stations. And um, number one, there's a buzzer, which I might have missed. You might, might have, have missed it. <laughs> well, you know, since this video is airing the day after the Pit Crew Challenge, we're going to go to the tape and see whether or uh -huh. not. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, we won't miss it, it next time. <laughs> if, yeah, or there will be no next time. Yeah. Well, exactly. Regardless of what happens in the Pit Crew Challenge tonight, you guys had a great week yeah, last right. week, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And it is a tradition that when you come on Rowdy, that there is a victory associated with that. That's right. So, like, when Jeff, we hung Jeff Gordon's hood up there, he won the next week. Johnny we Sauter. had Johnny Sauter come in here, and he goes out and wins the Martinsville truck race. So, I think you guys are... So, the 600 is in the bag. It's in the bag. <laughs> you know, because you got the rowdy and car. And you guys are running great. I mean, the, you must have a real positive feeling around the team right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, the, the season started off um, pretty good. And then, you know, the big one in Texas, which, um, which got Matt back thinking that he could win again. Right. Because um, he even told us... I didn't know if I was going to be able to ever win again. <laughs> and then, you know, we wrecked the week after. Um, but then to come back and have a good, strong run and end up winning at Dover is, is pretty uh, pretty exciting. Keeps and you guys were a huge part of that. I mean, the t tell us about the two-tire call at the end well, and how late in the stop that happened. Yeah, when, when you're in the middle of a stop and you th you're thinking four tires and all of a sudden they switch it up to two, is that is that easy to make that adjustment? Is it, is it you know? Or you must you practice that, I'm assuming. Well, we do practice that, but you got three people yelling on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I knew it was going to be two as soon as he rammed it in gear on me and Ryan in the back. I had about two lug nuts off. Let's get two, Jimmy. Bam! Uh-huh. Then I was like, well, then you know two. it's going down. Yeah. So so that that sounds like a challenging situation. I mean, you guys obviously were pretty flawless because you got him out, out first. It is, but with our crew chief, you got to be ready for anything. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Now, uh, have any of you guys, I know you guys are relatively new to the team. How long have you been with the team? I've been with Matt for four seasons. So you, you experienced Robbie Reiser as a crew chief? Yeah, for 10 races. For 10 races. Because we, we have a fan, a rowdy member who's Huge a big Matt, Matt fan, and fan. she wanted to know how Jimmy sort of is different or similar to Robbie, both being from Wisconsin. And it seems like Jimmy and Matt have gelled in a way that maybe Matt had with Robbie. Is there, are yeah. there can you identify? Th there is some similarities. They're both uh, old school crew chiefs, as I like to call it. Um, you know, they don't have the engineering background like a lot of the Chad Knauses and stuff do nowadays, um, where they're more uh, like Jimmy and Robbie are more race car driven. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Jimmy's a uh, Jimmy's different. Jimmy's Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. Like there, how? There's no explaining <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> can't really explain him. He's a little unusual. He's a bit of a character. Is that what I mean? Yeah. He he's is. high strong. He's yeah. high strong? I'd say he's high strong. Well, what's yeah. interesting about that is, is you know, in press conferences, post-race interviews, he's he's pretty quiet. I mean, he doesn't talk a lot in terms of we when he's... We get him upset. Can't don't you <laughs> worry. Yeah. He, he doesn't like the media. Uh, um, well, neither, but neither he, do I. He yeah, does I can't talk stand those guys. a lot during the race. Yeah. And he's very vocal if there's any kind of slip-up or, you know... If we don't gain spots, he's every got time high expectations. Oh yeah, but you know he should have. You know, is he like Kurt Busch vocal 
or uh, whoa, whoa, easy, <laughs> I don't, down you know, boy. You said earlier, Matt was sort of thinking, oh, I couldn't ever win again. Do you guys, as a team, how do you help? rally your driver or do yeah, you? we always I think mean, of the driver as like the quarterback of the team and you guys got to want to win for him in a sense and have that relationship be real strong but do you pick him up at all when he gets down I mean, we all all three of us work in the shop too mm -hmm. um building race cars and we always try to build the best cars that we can for matt and um you know you stay behind him and and then we do our job on pit road where we're gaining him spots to try to help him out and he realizes that so you know maybe that's a little bit of motivation.